a visit to America's oldest federal cultural institution. In the new year, the Library of Congress will celebrate its 224th anniversary. Since its founding in 1800, the library has swelled to become the largest in the world, adding about 10,000 items to its collection each day. But as Scott McFarland shows us, the library holds much more than just books and papers. In the nation's capital, with its towering statues and monuments honoring American presidents and legends, you'll also find much smaller, more obscure, and real-life mementos of those icons held inside the Library of Congress. Locks, clippings, and strands of hair from the founding fathers, the presidents, and other icons. We also actually do have a lovely lock of Grant's hair from 1864, and it's right there. That's military hero and the 18th president, Ulysses S. Grant. So he remembered that his wife wanted a lock of his hair, so he got it cut and sent it off. For centuries, long before photography was affordable, it was common practice to send and even gift one's hair as a sentimental keepsake by which to be remembered, says Carla Hayden, the librarian of Congress. So much. Think about it. That was a tangible way of having something yeah. of the person after they're gone. Thomas Jefferson's hair shows beneath his powdered wig he was a redhead. Lincoln's locks were clipped after his assassination. This coil includes 26 strands from Ludwig von Beethoven, obtained by a fan after the musician's death. There is a cultural and individualistic significance to hair. It manifests itself in so many ways. When you think about people who've had health challenges, especially uh, going through, let's say, chemotherapy, and just the trauma of losing hair, it, it, it signifies so many things, and it signifies things in different ways in different cultures. The Library of Congress didn't seek out to find all these locks and strands. They surfaced unexpectedly when the library received other historical belongings, says the library's Michelle Kroll. The hair samples that we have come with larger collections. It's usually diaries, letters, other things that have intellectual and research value. They found James Madison's hair inside of a locket he tucked into a love letter. But hair is just one unique example of an enormous range of the collection of artifacts and, yes, books at the library. An inventory which now exceeds 175 million items, filling 836 miles of shelves, longer than the distance between D.C. and Daytona Beach. A repository that also includes the world's largest flute collection, 1,700 of them, including James Madison's crystal flute used in this viral performance at the library last year by pop star Lizzo, a classically trained flautist. And more than 2,000 turn-of-the-century baseball cards, turn of the 20th century, and they're shifting and sharing images of the most distinctive items to their online repository. We want to make sure that when we look at a digital future and digitizing collections that we digitize first the things that are unique. Yeah. Not the best sellers or different books like that, but also things that capture the imagination but are very, very unique. In Congress's library, which lures a half million in-person visitors a year, has just added more to its shelves, including the personal catalogs of the choreographer of The Lion King and playwright Neil Simon. In this era of Instagram and YouTube, the idea of preserving such an unorthodox piece of history has disappeared. But for the Founding Fathers, these obscure items are preserved for generations to come. For CBS Saturday Morning, I'm Scott McFarland at the Library of Congress. I'm a little freaked out about the hair. I'm it was a common, I'm sorry. It was a common practice to send and gift hair. Oh, yep. We're not Everybody have a we're scissors. Not I would like to other. gift my co-anchors some what? hair. No. Yeah, go for <laughs> it. But no, you know, you, you can't clone social media, but perhaps in the future, what you... former presidents? I know, I'm going off on it. Where? Oh, Hold on a I see. She got it from clone. the DNA, where, from the hair. Where are Thank we going? you. We're oh, going to clone, okay. clone Thomas Jefferson, Abraham Lincoln. Ah, Would that be okay. a It took idea? me a second. I was like, we're almost no. there. Just, just, we got to just push us over there. Just end I, I line don't, here, I don't, Michelle. I don't just think hold on for another day and a half.